Close encounters with light rail trains as Metro shining a spotlight on that very real problem here in Houston. And today they released videos showing some of those near misses. So here's the deal. It is hoped that if you see these close calls, you'll pay closer attention the next time you're near a train. Lauren Tellerico is in the medical center with more on this campaign. Lauren? Yeah, downtown and here in the medical center are the two most dangerous spots for train accidents. They see the most traffic, and if people aren't paying attention, it can be really dangerous, even deadly. Light rail versus car. Or distracted pedestrians. These videos even show people dangerously trying to beat the train. Unfortunately, in June, we saw a real spike in accidents on the rail system. 17 accidents. Unfortunately, we had two accidents that were fatal. Six to seven accidents a month are the average. Stop, look, and listen. That's a very active message we want to make sure we're getting across, that people need to make sure they're paying attention as they're crossing streets. That is especially important now that the rail lines are in new places. They've extended from seven and a half miles to 23. With that many people, that many cars, pedestrians, it's a very unique environment to, to operate in. Metro's released these close calls, saying the message is simple. Trains do not swerve. They're not like cars. They're not able to stop very quickly. Stop, look, and listen. And a reminder, trying to beat a train can not only be deadly, it's also illegal. Reporting from Medical Center, I'm Lauren Tellerico, KHOU 11 News.